Welcome back to Tea and Smoke. I'm Rissa. This is the collective tea leaf reading for the month of July. The reading this month is incredibly clear. The past few months, we've definitely had a lot of scatter, a lot of confusion, and a lot of busyness in the teacups. That changes in July. The symbols are big, bold, and speaking very clearly. Let's dive in. Immediately under the handle, we start off with a little bit of blockage, a bull and an eye. Breaking all of that down, it tells me that starting this month, you're going to feel a little bit hesitant to push forward boldly. You are going to be a little bit slower to make decisions, a little bit cautious and steadfast. You have your eye on everything, you're paying close attention, and you know, honestly, that's a good thing. Coming through the whirlwind that was June and all of the ups and downs of April and May, there's a little bit of a reason to be hesitant. Maybe precedent has shown you that caution is warranted. So let's also talk about those symbols individually. The bull can in fact literally be a Taurus person. If that doesn't resonate for you, take the qualities of a Taurus and apply them to your situation, specifically in how you're looking at it right now. Especially with the eye showing up, it tells me that you are seeing through that lens. We are definitely past Taurus season. It doesn't mean that you aren't taking those same concepts and applying them in current time. Moving down further under the handle, the symbols are showing up a little bit more faintly. There's an upside down smile next to a heart. It could be that in matters of love right now, you are feeling a little bit off. And you know, coming through June when love was so heavily emphasized, it might be that you just want to step back and take a break. June could have meant new friendships, new love interests, new partnerships happening all over the spectrum. And maybe you just need to pull back and take a moment to digest that's perfectly okay. I don't see anything good falling away from you during the month of July. In fact, the last symbol showing up under the handle is an umbrella. The umbrella is folded, but it's there, kind of telling me that whatever happens, you're going to be okay, you are protected, and you will be emotionally caught in a good way going through the rest of July. Starting into the emotional side of the cup, this rules the people in your world and how you see them. The first large symbol showing up is a hat. There are several pieces associated with the hat. There's a person climbing over it. There is an acorn sitting on the brim, a lit candle underneath, and a musical note. Let's put that all together. The first big symbol is the hat. It's pointing me directly to your thoughts and how guarded you have been feeling about them. Now, a hat can provide protection and shade. And in the Northern Hemisphere, we're in the middle of summer, so a hat might be a good idea. That said, the person climbing over the hat tells me someone has probably shown up in your world, or they're about to in early July, that is going to make you rethink how you are looking at your relationships. They are going to maybe conquer some old standing beliefs that you have. This is probably a good thing, but maybe a little bit uncomfortable. You want to be happy. You want to sort of celebrate and embrace this person. That's the musical note. You are also learning. The candle is showing me that they are illuminating the way you've thought about relationships in the past. There is nothing indicating what kind of new relationship this is going to be. It could be a colleague, a friend, a lover, a neighbor. However this works out for you, realize that the challenge you're feeling is probably a good thing. The last symbol showing up with the hat is an acorn. Acorns are always about new growth, new starts, and I read them as a positive sign. The next grouping of symbols is again speaking to me about how you're feeling challenged in some of your relationships. It is a large handgun. Don't be distressed. A handgun in a teacup is not a literal message. It is about feeling threatened in a relationship, and this can be even the tiniest of discomforts or red flags. The handgun is accompanied by two hearts. They are pushed up right against it. My feeling is that you are feeling a little bit unsafe and unsteady when it comes to some relationships with people you love. The answer in the cup is to learn more. There is a person directly underneath reading a book. It doesn't mean the answer that you're looking for is going to literally be in a book. I encourage you, if there are new people coming into your life, take it slow and learn more about them. That way, this incredible feeling of discomfort, the concern about red flags, it's going to more naturally dissipate and you can use your discernment to decide whether or not the relationship is good for you. And remember, of course, this can apply to any kind of relationship in your life. Whether you are looking for a new romance, friendships, business, 
whatever. Take it slow, learn everything you need to know or want to know about the person, and go ahead and ask questions. At this point, we're about halfway back the emotional side of the cup, and we meet the number three. There's a little bit of scatter around number three. Look in your life for the number three showing up in relationship to a person, place, thing, or event, or in numerology, the three is about expressing creativity. The three is leading into the largest symbol in the cup, and it's that gigantic fish, that huge fish that's taking up a large portion of this entire cup. The fish has a few small symbols attached to it, but the other relevant thing about it is that it's literally touching all parts of the cup. This is the main message for the month of July, you will definitely be in your emotions through a lot of this month. Even though there are certainly doing symbols for July, you're going to spend a lot of this time slowing down enough to reflect on how you're feeling about people, places, things, and events that are happening to you now. The first thing attached to the fish is a person who's kind of holding on for dear life, as if your emotions are kind of pulling you. They're the thing that are, they're leading you more than your thought processes. Your emotions may also make you feel a little off kilter, especially in relationship to one particular person in the month of July. But don't worry, the fish overall is an incredibly positive symbol. And I think by the end of the month, you're definitely going to feel like you're winning and things are moving quickly in a really positive way. Towards the back of the fish, there is a person jumping for joy as if they've just completed a tremendous achievement. And the very last symbol on the fish is a person riding a horse galloping towards a triangle. This new opportunity coming into your emotional world is definitely a win. This big fish, the horse with the triangle, all of these things add up to a tremendous new relationship in your life. Once again, there is no definitive answer as far as what kind of relationship this is going to be. So stay open and you know, if you're sitting there thinking, I don't know who or what this could be, first of all, get out into the world, meet people, be around them, and I think it's going to just sort of naturally unfold. It's going to feel like a tremendous new opportunity. There's another acorn underneath of it. You might feel a little bit of confusion and doubt entering in, but trust your instincts, take it slow, ask the questions that you want the answers to, and remember that sometimes things are as good as they look. The back column of the cup this month is mostly open. The message here is simply to stay open to new opportunities and the things and people coming your way during the month of July. Don't overbook yourself, don't overdo it, and just create space for possibility. There are two sets of twos in the back column. Again, here are those partnerships. Once more, no additional information is given in this cup. Be open to partnerships of all kinds, whether they are friendships, business, love, neighborhood, community, however it may come, I think it's gonna be good this month. Starting on the material side of the cup, this rules your stuff, your job, your money, your education, your car, your house, the things that kind of make up your material world. It could be that during the month of July, something in your material world feels a little bit heavier and it's probably related to a person. This could be a person at home or a person at work. I know right now school is generally not a thing, for the most part. If you are a student, it could be related to your part-time job or where you live. The first set of symbols we see are a person that's kind of dominating another. There's definitely some kind of stress here. One person is yelling and waving their arms around and the other person is diligently working. But you know, the thing is, help is on the way. Right behind that is a boat with three people in it. They're there, ready to help. The message here is A, accept help when it is offered and B, Realize that you're not alone. Teamwork is always a more successful model in achieving anything, whether it is with your education, your work, or your home. All of that is sitting on another opportunity. You're going to do some kind of a negotiation going into this month. Accept it and make sure the terms are good for you. This is going to lead to a lot more stability and even more positive opportunities down the road. The symbol of the negotiation is followed up by a square and an even bigger triangle. Like I said, do it right, 
speak your mind, accept help, and it's all going to turn out to be really fantastic for you. Underneath that large exchange I just described, there is an arrow pointing back to the column about you and another triangle underneath of that. The message here, remember to follow your happiness in your heart. As you're choosing projects that will be reflected into your material world, think about what actually makes your soul sing. Pick that. I mean, if there's an option between just doing something and doing something you love, go with the something that you love during the month of July or just, you know, as a general piece of guidance. Coming back to the material side of the cup, there's another boat. This one contains a person and a really large black bird. The boat is being linked to a waxing crescent moon. So using that as a timestamp, I would say around July 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, somewhere in that neighborhood, look for another person to come along. This person is going to have some kind of magic. They're indicated by this large black bird. In my cups, birds are ascendants. It means that whoever this person is, this is a destined meeting. This is a destined collaboration. Underneath all of that, a huge number two, a galloping horse with a three tucked inside the two and another symbolic two right next to it. This partnership is going to be everything for you. This is going to change your material world for the good in a fascinating and really rapid way. A few more symbols in the material side of the cup. And again, I want to emphasize that this month's cup is so clear. There's so very little scatter, so very little confusion, as if you're finally getting really steady in your mind about exactly what you do and don't want in all parts of your life. You've let go of a lot. You have have moved forward, you have healed, you have done the work you need to do. And I absolutely love that about this cup. Just past that, we have another fish leaping. It's attached to the letter U, as if to say that you are emotionally completely satisfied and elevating in your material world. This can apply to your home. Perhaps you have completed some of those renovations. It could apply to your work. Maybe you have taken on a really satisfying and exciting new project, and it could apply to any other part of your material life. Maybe what you've done is clean out your closet. And you know what? That's a great achievement. So if that's your story, I applaud you. However this is working for you, whatever this victory is in your material world, I encourage you to just embrace it and feel proud of how far you've come. Now underneath all of that, and kind of next to the galloping horse, that we saw earlier. There's a small group of symbols, an apple, a carrot, the number 11, and that's partnership symbol again. If you know anything about horses, you know that apples and carrots are the treat that a horse will run for. I kind of love that the horse and the treats are right next to each other, as if you know you're heading towards the reward. In numerology, the 11, a magical number as well, kind of an ultimate guide number for your success. I encourage you again, embrace those partnerships in your world. That is where the rewards will be in teamwork and in joint efforts that push you and the other person or persons forward together. Ending the month of July, there is a small note of caution. This is attached also to that big fish that we saw earlier. There is a guard dog who is alert and aware next to an upside down heart. Guard your heart a little bit, not a ton. I don't see any reason for alarm in this cup. I see this as just a moment when you should consider if you've given too much of yourself away to a project or another person. Always remember to keep your good boundaries and to take care of yourself as you need to without overgiving to anyone else. And finally, one of my favorite parts of this cup, the bottom. The bottom is the future beyond July, the things past the general reading that I am giving. There were some really interesting things sitting in the bottom of this cup. The first and most striking is the huge flying fancy bird. This looks very much like a cockatoo in flight. It has the fancy plumage, the long tail. This bird is elegant and powerful. This is the ascendant you've been waiting for. The one I've been wishing to show up in these general readings, like since I started them. Here it is, taking flight, moving forward, boldly, successfully. This is one of the most positive aspects I have seen in any cup in a very long time. And here it is in the general reading for all of us. Love it. There's another interesting aspect right off of the wing of the bird. It's a smiley face with harvested wheat and a guitar. Now, initially, it feels like those things aren't a match. There's a lot of happiness in the harvesting of all of your hard work, all of the things you've been doing, 
all of the time you've put into yourself, into your relationships, into your job, into your home, all of it is coming back to you now. There will be reason for happiness and celebration. The guitar, second symbol of music here, this could be someone literally in your life who has or plays a guitar, but it can also just be a general feeling of lightness, enjoyment, and celebration. And the final symbol in the bottom, this is the second bowl in the cup. I, I I don't know that I've ever seen a bowl look quite like this in a cup before because this one is just decked out with flowers, like a flower crown. It seems to me that you're going to feel the rewards for everything you have done, for all of that steadfast energy you have put into your life, that you have put into everything. The showing up again and again and again, the consistency that you have displayed is going to come back to you you're going to have so much happiness and joy. Flowers in my cup, always a reward, always positivity. This bull is just decked out in them. Again, if you have an actual Taurus person in your life, it could be that your relationship with them is going to be absolutely glowing going past the month of July. Otherwise, read it for you. Read it as you glowing, you feeling this joy, you expressing all of the happiness that you truly deserve. Thank you so much for joining me for the July Collective Tea Leaf Reading. If this feels like it was not your reading, you can reach out to me at any time for a personal reading from anywhere in the world. I can read for you remotely. Remember, I will never reach out to offer you a reading. If someone does that, it is a scam. If you want a personal reading, you have to reach out to me through my website, teaandsmoke.com. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, or share with a friend. And until we meet again next month, I hope you have a fantastic July.